Hello, Trinidad and Tobago. Viewers from the wider Caribbean and the world. Welcome to the 2020 virtual graduation ceremony for the St. Augustine campus of the University of the West Indies. My name is Ian Will, and it is my pleasure to be speaking to you from the lovely grounds at the principal's office, the UE St. Augustine campus. The wonders of technology allow us to have a truly global experience with some of our speakers zooming in from all over the Caribbean and your viewers looking on from all over the world. Today we honor the graduates of the Faculty of Medical Sciences and I know that so many of you are eagerly awaiting the celebration of your family, friends and loved ones. This year's ceremony is with a difference, a hybrid of sorts. You will see the St. Augustine campus in all its splendor. I trust that you'll be inspired by the words of University Chancellor Robert Bermudez, the honorary graduates and the valedictorians, some of UE St. Augustine's truly amazing students. There'll also be cultural presentations, including musical performances from many of the campus's talented artists. 2020 marks the 60th anniversary of the St. Augustine campus, and though it has been a challenging year, it is also a significant milestone for this institution. Think about it. The UE St. Augustine has saved the world by developing human capital for some six decades. That is quite the legacy. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. Students, past and present, all faculty and staff, Caribbean society and our international audience. This is the UE St. Augustine 2020 graduation ceremony for the Faculty of Medical Sciences. Enjoy. Congratulations to the 2020 graduating class of the University of the West Indies. Today is the day that you've been working towards and perhaps you've been dreaming about even before you actually began your classes. I want you to know that today is equally important to us as university administrators. Graduation you see is cherished as one of the most anticipated, exciting, and meticulously planned events on our annual university calendar. While this particular edition has required a reimagining of many of the traditional and most enjoyed highlights, we proudly commend you for your resilience in transitioning, and you have done remarkably well throughout this pandemic. Today is your day. Your degree is being conferred. This is your graduation. Relish the moment in the comfort and safety of your homes with your loved ones as one of the many positives. And as you celebrate today, I hope you make memories and project your pelican pride to the whole world. I take this opportunity to salute the network of support that has stood behind you throughout your sojourn at the UII, knowing very well that they take as much pride and perhaps even more pride in this milestone as well. Just as over the past seven decades where generations of UWI Pelicans took flight, so too you as members of the class of 2020 will take flight. You are especially entrusted to demonstrate the continued intellectual development of the region as the first post-COVID-19 generation of alumni. The university community is so very proud of you and is rooting for your success. Enjoy today and enjoy the journey ahead. Let the celebration begin.
Chancellor of the University of the West Indies, Mr. Robert Bermudez, Vice Chancellor, Professor Sir Hilary Beckles, Pro Vice Chancellor and Campus Principal, Professor Brian Copeland, Honorary Graduates, University Executives and other members of staff, Graduates, Distinguished Guests. Welcome to the 2020 virtual presentation of graduates of the University of the West Indies. I am Sharon Christopher, Chair of the Council of the UE St. Augustine Campus. I have the honor of guiding you through these virtual proceedings. Today, we celebrate and congratulate our graduates across the region and the world. I now invite the Chancellor, Mr. Robert Bermudez, to address you. Vice Chancellor, members of the university leadership and colleagues, graduating class of 2020, greetings. This graduation ceremony is different from what we usually expect. While I deeply regret that our traditional ceremony of your academic accomplishments is not possible, this is a special event in your lives and we are hoping to treat it with the significance and importance it deserves. There's a certain joy that you experience being able to share, being recognized by your fellow graduates, by the university community and your families. The virtual world does not allow this. It does not allow me to salute each one of you individually. I hope that this message will convey my pride in your stellar accomplishments during a year of many challenges. My warmest congratulations to each one of you in the graduating class of 2020. In saluting you, I also pay tribute to your families and loved ones who supported you through these strange times. Your success is also their success. And I ask you to acknowledge and celebrate their love, support, and care. During the year that you completed your studies, the university adapted its teaching and learning approaches to deal with the public health challenge. The transition to emergency remote teaching was achieved through collaboration. Our technical teams, academic staff, and administrative teams worked together, coordinated by the leadership of the campuses and the university. As a whole, they ensured that teaching and learning and all the processes that supported you could continue. I thank them for their commitment, and I believe that your achievement is a validation of their tremendous effort. Over this year, we have seen some powerful countries in the world brought to a standstill by a virus. Economies have been devastated, industries severely impacted, and communities set back. Many lives have been lost, and life as we know it has changed. The pandemic has exposed the inequalities in our societies and the weaknesses in our economic systems. But it has also highlighted the work of our heroes and heroines, whose dedication to service may never have been recognized without it. This year, too, we've seen a resurgence in the Black Lives Matter movement, a phenomena that has transcended borders, social and economic differences, and ethnic groups. I am proud that many of our students participated in activities organized across the region. I believe that this clearly signals that activism is alive among our student body. And I urge you to keep that solidarity, 
in the forefront of your consciousness as you go forward with your lives. Across the Caribbean, 2020 was a year when we celebrated our democracy. There have been free and fair elections in Bermuda, Jamaica, Suriname, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Belize, Trinidad and Tobago, Guyana, and St. Kitts Nevis. We congratulate all of our brothers and sisters on this achievement. Our region stands as a proud beacon of democracy, and the University of the West Indies has played a pivotal role in its development. The responsibility now falls on your shoulders as the next graduating class to keep our democratic traditions strong and vibrant. Contributing countries and their governments are an integral part of this institution. They provide the funding and resources to maintain it. And some of you are beneficiaries of government scholarships. Your countries have demonstrated their confidence in you. And I encourage you to demonstrate your sense of responsibility through service to your country. You will be needed in the days and months ahead as the region builds its new reality. Our collective capacity to respond to global challenges begins with knowledge, creativity, and innovation. You are now part of that process going forward, and I urge you to become agents of change in your chosen fields and in your communities. Universities have a fundamental role to play in the creation and communication of knowledge. Universities are expected to advance informed and ethical action through the identification of challenges and opportunities for the societies in which they serve. There has been a call for universities globally to help shape the post-COVID world based on values that include democracy, human rights, social justice, inclusion, and equity. We have seen evidence of this in the response by our students, alumni, and faculty to the call for direct assistance to people in need through the provision of health care services, in research being conducted, and the remarkable transition to an online environment. I must commend the UWI COVID-19 Task Force for the sterling work that they have done and continue to do to help the region contain and respond to the pandemic. Notwithstanding these initial points of pride, there is still much to be done. I urge you to build on the civic spirit, the social solidarity, and the sharing of technical expertise that has already been demonstrated. Look towards the future, past COVID-19. Your graduating class is evidence that what has been achieved with care and collaboration, underpinned by the knowledge provided and encouraged by this academy, Extend this ethos into all that you do in the future. Be active and engaged citizens. Be engaged alumni. Contribute to the University of the West Indies in any way in which you are comfortable. Continue to pursue knowledge. Indulge your creativity and innovativeness. Build a better future for yourselves and for your communities. Your future is bright. Congratulations. 
We are met today in order that we may mark by a formal ceremony the entry of certain members into the company of graduates and the academic achievement of others. As a university, we are an academic society of undergraduates, bachelors, masters and doctors, and we follow the academic tradition in the pursuit of knowledge and the encouragement of learning. The purposes which are laid out in the preamble to the Royal Charter by which we have been granted the powers needful for the prosecution of our affairs. In pursuing these aims, our members advance from time to time to higher standing in the academic community. And it is proper that as a body, we should celebrate their achievement. We do this by granting a degree or diploma or license or certificate, and we rejoice with our graduates in their advancement. Abhijit Ankateso is a final year student in the Musical Arts degree program at the Department of Creative and Festival Arts and is the National Council for Indian Culture Youth Champ winner in 2018 and 2019. He performs Mary Rashk E. Kamar. I'm a 
Sir, the persons whose names will be called having studied in the University of the West Indies and having fulfilled the requirements of the University of the West Indies beg leave to be presented to you and to the Senate of the University by the representative of the Faculty of Medical Sciences as Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery or Bachelor of Science, Nursing or Optometry or Pharmacy or Physical Therapy or Doctor of Dental Surgery or Veterinary Medicine or Bachelor of Medical Sciences of the University of the West Indies. Sir, the Dean of Medical Sciences, Professor Terence C. Mungal. So, my colleagues and I ask you to receive, as graduate members of our society, these persons who, having fulfilled the requirements of the university, have been admitted to the degree of Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery or Bachelor of Science, Nursing or Optometry or Pharmacy or Physical Therapy or Doctor of Dental Surgery or Veterinary Medicine or Bachelor of Medical Sciences of this university. By the authority vested in me, I receive these persons whose names are about to be called as graduate members of our society and confirm first degrees, diplomas and certificates of this university. Christian Aboud Anastasia Ali Ria Ali Osei Andrews With distinction, Kyle Antoine Ryan Arjunsing With distinction, Angela Bag Keegan Bajnath Shanada Bach Manisha Baldevsi Shiva Balgobe With distinction Davian Bartholomew With honors Lachelle Basanu Aradana Bazdev With honors Nishana Bijai with distinction, Jody Benjamin. With distinction, Celeste Bagwa. With honors, Sajay Bidesi. With distinction, Jaran Bisnath. Wakiba Bisessa. Crystal Braffitt. Russia Brown Cheryl Brown With distinction Anise Calder With distinction Kevin Sedano With honors Leana Chang Nadita Chilla 
with distinction. Ethan Fritchler with distinction. Lance DeBarry with distinction. Melina DeFool Denise Dewan Danielle Dimsoy with distinction. Nival Dindial with distinction. Vierda Dipchan with distinction. Jacinta Douglas with distinction. Sarah Duverne Vasudev Dial Laura Ernest Delicia Faisudi Giselle Garcia With distinction Glenitha George Denicia George Kimberly Gomez With honors Zoe Gonzalez Aruna Gulja Samir Gopi Singh Rakesh Harilal With distinction Stephanie Hariprasad Singh Nua Hassan Selina Hussain Mohammed Jeremy Innes With honors Kafisha Jaisaru With distinction Lisa James Narissa Jatan With honors, Vishal Jinku, Tefani Johnson, Shivrad Joseph, Rina Kanhai, Karishma Kisari Singh. With distinction, Karina Khan. With honors, Amanda Khan, Stephanie Levere. With distinction, Matthew Mahabir. With distinction, Akshay Maharaj. With honors, Tamira Maharaj. Lakshmi Maharaj Kritika Maharaj Shashmita Maharaj Ria Mahes Shanik Maharaj Sangeeta Maharaj Marcus McGilvery, Anita Mohammed, Azud Mohammed, with honors, Shushanta Nankisu, Shalise Marie Nicholas, Nikisha Oja Taylor. Krista Panchu Alethea Pasca Nakisha Paul With distinction, Ariana Peters With distinction, Amy Pakira Michael Ferrangi Darian Pertam Chelsea Providence With distinction Sean Ragbe Asha Raghunath 
with distinction Karashma Raghu with distinction Crystal Rajpal Singh with distinction Vinay Ram Amy Ramai Sasha Ramdan Stefan Ramkisu with distinction Esther Ramlakan with honors Kadesh Ramlakan with honors Stephen Ramlogan with honors Ranuka Ramuta with honors Celine Rampol Navita Rampasa with distinction Junel Ramsaran Keston Ratan Romario Revanales Camille Ricketts with distinction Lawrence Roberts with distinction Shaquilia Roberts with Distinction Christelle Rohit Roberto Saladi Natalie Sandy With Honors Naomi Scott Sati Sipasa Ambika Sinana With distinction, Narika Singh. With honors, Rihanna Singh. Anusha Singh. Shada Singh. With honors, Trisha Sunny. Rina Sugrim. Anurada Sunda Joel Tanis with distinction Brandon Thomas Lisa Thomas with distinction Daniela Townsend Shaquille Trotman with honors, Gabrielle Urbano, Serana Williams, Kefa Wilson, Hashina Yaku, Yuyin Yi, Keenan Suraj. Aziza Abdus Sabur, Nafisa Aguilera, Kelly Archibald, Celine Balgobin, Lucky Beckles, Nicole Beno. Kimberly Boyce, Sufain Charles, Risa George, Brittany Holder, Natanya John, Jessica Johnny. Zoe Lett Rebecca Lizama Awesome Makanu Rhea McDigan Denise McDowell Kyla McMillan 
Khadija Mohammed, Rian Mohammed, Donna Lee Ramuta, Miguel Lee Sampson, Erica St. Bernard, Aisha Williams, Amanda Abdul, Michaela Aquan, Ria Bali, Navita Barsati, Jahan Bansing, Shirvana Bridgelal, Kavita Chutu, Sir, with first class honors, Dylan Dabro, Vicky Dukan, Sir, with first class honors, Shanice Fortune. Shania Francois, Michaela Garcia, Alexi Gopal, Sasha Hernandez, Helvin Humphrey, Michael Joseph. Fatima Khan, Sean Miraj, Shazana Mohammed, Sorelia Panchu, Sabrina Passad, Samantha Ramgulam. Jai Shri Ramharak, Ganesh Ramlochan, Anna Ramnarain, Damini Ramnath Singh. Sir, with first class honors, Elisa Rampal, Jessica Roman. Elisha Sankar. Sir, with first class honors, Keshav Sudas, Kadita Sukdeo, Sara Diosaran, Diana Harry Passard, Sean Khan. Raquel Lachmedial, Keshava Miraj, Adiat Mohammed, Zulika Oleri, Amy Lee Teixeira. Sir, with honors, Tanika Barcelo. Sir, with honors, Alanis Boudram. Sir, with honors, Xavier Francis Chapman. Stephanie Green. Chanika Hanna. Sir, with distinction, Fiana Hay. Sir, with honors, Nadine Holder. Saif Imam, Fidel Jackson, Sir, with honors, Zarian Khan, Sir, with honors, Crystal Miraj, Sangeeta Naubat, Sir, with honors, Gabrielle Roberts. Sir, with honors, Caroline Sam. Sir, with distinction, Devon Sionarine.
Stephanie Singh, Melanie Vaughn, Sir with Honours Kyla Vernon, Elishiba Walcott. I now call upon Dr. Shaquille O'Neill Trotman, Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery, to deliver the valedictory address. Chancellor Mr. Robert Bumidez, Vice Chancellor Professor Sir Hilary Beckles, Chair of the Campus Council Ms. Sharon Christopher, Pro Vice Chancellor and Campus Principal Professor Brian Copeland, Honorary Graduates, University Executives and other members of staff, Fellow graduates, distinguished guests, valedictorians, good day. My name is Shaquille O'Neill Trotman, and it is indeed an honor and privilege to virtually deliver this year's valedictorian address on behalf of the Faculty of Medical Sciences. For this, I am eternally grateful. In my younger days, I could remember my grandparents always saying, We are living in some interesting times. Right here now, I will say to you, we are living in some interesting times. The reality is that the world has been plagued in times past with smallpox, yellow fever, SARS, swine flu, Ebola, and now in 2020, we are battling this global pandemic, COVID-19. As some politicians have highlighted, this is a war that requires a global effort. At the time of drafting this address, we would have recorded over 67 million confirmed cases, and sadly more than 1.6 million persons would have died globally. Locally, we recorded a bit over 7,000 confirmed cases and just over 122 deaths, all of which account for the very fact that our graduation is virtual. In a recently released Netflix show, the question was asked, if the gods are all-knowing and powerful, why do they allow devastation, hardship and sickness to prevail? The response to that question was thought-provoking. It highlighted the fact that humankind has proven time and time again that they are their best when their backs are against the wall. They become innovative, they redefine their limits, and they come back swinging. It is for that reason that we have been able to invent a vaccine for the COVID-19 virus in record time. This is how I choose to look at the year 2020. We, the graduating class of 2020, have had only virtual farewells thus far. No celebratory parties at Club 51, no last pictures in front of the huge staircase, and no final send-offs into the world. For many of us, we had long dreamt of this final day where we can gracefully walk across that stage decked in our blue robe and hood as all eyes watch us collecting that red canister. But you know something? I have come to realize that the destination is not as important as the journey that got you there. The author Jay Shetty in his book Think Like a Monk, he told the story of Picasso and yes, I do read books other than medical journals. One day Picasso was in the marketplace and a female villager walked up to him to get a sketch of herself done. He took about 15 minutes and indicated the price. The lady was flabbergasted and said, You only took 15 minutes to get that done. Why so much? Picasso said, No. It took me 30 years to reach to the point of me sketching you in 15 minutes. This story teaches us two things. One, to value time. And two, it is the journey that matters. Graduates. The fact that we are sharing this opportunity here today means that we have survived a great academic ordeal. It means that we have conquered those difficult courses, RESP, oral diseases, mental health nursing, and all the allergies in the dictionary, especially pharmacology, which seems never ending. But like David, we persevered and conquered our Goliaths. In my own journey at arriving here today, there were many challenges. As difficult as it may have been at times, I'm the proud son of a taxi driver and homemaker. You see, my father's commitment to his responsibility to provide and my mother's care in hands truly prepared me for medical school and dare I say it, prepared me for the world of work. As a generation, we have become so complacent. We are seldom grateful for the things we have grown so accustomed to having. We take for granted programs such as scholarships, gates, health program and operate as those as our divine right and really appreciate that us benefiting from these programs are off the backs, sweat and tears of the previous generation. Though the easiest thing in life is to always criticize, let us find the courage to be grateful and say thank you. The reality is, 
Where else in the world can a taxi driver and homemaker send their teenage son to medical school? My success here today, my speaking before you, is a tribute to Rhonda James and Alvin James for being the type of parents that any child will be proud of. Everyone who knows me prior to 2015 will know me to be shy and always doing things in the background. If five years ago you to tell me that I'll be standing in this position here today, I'd have told you no, not me. Anybody but Shaquille. The University of the West Indies to me facilitated friendships that I know for a fact will last a lifetime. I distinctly recall a friend from St. Vincent commenting that she felt so loved and welcome here as a Caribbean student. So what I'm trying to say is that you is not just a building where learning takes place, but it's a place you can surely call home. We really had some memorable moments. We'd miss hearing the words of common things common from Dr. Santo or even from Uncle Yumi, Brains and Beauty. Always seeing Shal in the foyer, getting smalls from Paul the lab tech, Miss Townsend's questions in PP3 sessions, rustling cows to taking blood from fish to being on the racetrack with horses and even working on surgery for dogs. And who could forget Ori's dance performance at some faculty events? Upon reflection of our journey, we have lots to be grateful for. We owe our very existence and success to our Creator. We must also acknowledge our parents, guardians, family members and well-wishers who formed a strong pillar of support. To faculty staff members, we extend our sincerest gratitude for your patience and guidance over these past years. And kudos to those composers of those many seminars. Boy, these documents came in handy for me, especially preparing for Dr. Hannah Ryan's critical thinking sessions. So thank you. Colleagues, despite the untraditional nature, today is still our day. A day that represents the final scene in this act, but sets the stage for the next. We'll be known as the graduating class that entered a new frontier and conquered. My final message to you is this. Life is not always smooth sailing. There will be some turbulence as well as some calm. The only guarantee we have is that there will be challenges in this story of life. But I challenge you to keep moving on. I hold it to you that you must summon the class of 2020 greatness in you and persevere. Offer to this world your God-given talent and when you do leave, leave your mark and leave this world in a better place than when you first found it. Dare I say that? The members of the class of 2020 will one day become world-renowned pharmacists, optometrists, dentists, nurses, doctors of medicine, and doctors of veterinary medicine. We are the world's greatest. Allow me, therefore, to end as I began. I am Dr. Shaquille O'Neill Trotman, member of the latest generation of excellence to pass through these hallowed halls of the UV Faculty of Medical Sciences. Graduates, Class of 2020, congratulations, we did it. Thank you. Sir, I now call on Professor Stephen Gift, Pro Vice Chancellor, Graduate Studies and Research, to present to you, members of our society, for the award of high degrees of this university. So, I present to you these members of our society who, having fulfilled the requirements of this university, have been awarded postgraduate certificates, diplomas, and have been admitted to master's degrees, and beg that you recognize the advancement in our society. By the authority vested in me, I confer on these persons whose names are about to be called, master's degrees, postgraduate diplomas and certificates of this university and recognize their advancement in our society. Lisa Babb Paulette Dean Dorothea Francis Elsie Hepburn Kenesha Munnings Salvindra Graham Terence Ross 
Rasmita Singh, Kiona Jones, Sir, with distinction, Dana Lalchansing. Sir, I present to you these members of our society who, having fulfilled the requirements of this university, have been admitted to the degree of Doctor of Medicine and beg that you recognize the advancement in our society. By the authority vested in me, I confer on these persons whose names are about to be called the degree of Doctor of Medicine of this university and recognize their advancement in our society. Shamira Maharaj Madonna Latmore Wilts Kamla Manu Trudy Kawal Sir, I present to you these members of our society who, having fulfilled the requirements of this university, have been admitted to the degree of Doctor of Philosophy and beg that you recognize the advancement in our society. By the authority vested in me, I confer on these persons whose names are about to be called the degree of Doctor of Philosophy of this university and recognize their advancement in our society. Mandrika Bahal. Sir, with high commendation, Nikita Sahadil. Sally Idris. Arian Brown Jordan. I now call on Mr. Jerry Medford, the UE Alumni Association Trinidad and Tobago chapter, to join the graduates in reciting the alumni pledge. Thank you, Council Chair. Members of the graduating class of 2020, on behalf of the UE Alumni Association, Trinidad and Tobago chapter, I extend congratulations to you on your successful transition from matriculation to graduation. May you continue to make us all proud as you pursue your careers with Pelican pride. And now, the alumni pledge. As a graduate, of the University of the West Indies, I commit myself to uphold the ideals and goals of my alma mater. My conduct and voice shall reflect the commitment to excellence of the light rising from the West. And I fulfill my social and professional responsibility and serve my community and region. I will strive to ensure the U.S. as a Caribbean The Catalyst of Caribbean Development and Leadership. In the I will proudly help build for future generations. The University of the West Indies, first in our past and first in our region. This brings to a close the public ceremony by which the University of the West Indies has signalized the award of degrees, diplomas, and certificates to its graduates. Congratulations to the class of 2020.